All right, so getting to look at the epidemiology of acute coronary syndrome. Epidemiology is simply how this um, a particular disease condition has affected different regions of the world, but we don't like look in depth into a, the regions, okay? We simply just look at the at a briefing. So briefing, we take some important con countries in the world to actually look at them, right? So we get to look at this word epidemiology of this acute coronary syndrome. So the epidemiology of acute coronary syndrome, incidence is about what? In the U.S., you have about 1.5 million hospitalizations in the U.S., and this is annually, okay? They have about 42 million of cases globally, all right? And this data was taken in 2009, okay? Prevalence is, um, you have about 17.6 million Americans have coronary artery disease, 212 million cases occur globally. Mortality is, um, this acute coronary syndrome accounts for about one in five deaths in the U.S. Do you understand? That's real crazy. Okay. Then what are the risk factors? It's mostly for people who are what, above 45 years for men and above 55 years for women. Um, people of male sex, right? If you have a family history of coronary artery disease, there's hypertension, there's hyperlipidemia. Okay. There's diabetes, if you smoke, if you have obesity, if you have a physical inactivity. That means you practice a sedentary or lifestyle, okay? So I think um, trends is um, declining age-adjusted modality rates in developed countries. There's increased risks in developing countries. There's uh, rising prevalence of what? coronary artery disease, risk factors globally, okay? Disparities is... Um, there's higher incidence and the mortality is more in men than women. The racial and et ethnic disparities is um there's higher rates in what African Americans. All right, then for the social and economic disparities, there's a higher rate in low income populations, right? The global variations, it has the highest incidence in Eastern Europe and Central Asia. It has lowest incidence in East Asia and Pacific regions, okay? Economic burden, it is an estimated about 150 billion annual cost in U.S. It's spent on what? Acute coronary disease. It has significant economic burden globally, okay? So for prevention and control, we have spoken about all this prevention and control, right? So that's it about the epidemiology of this acute coronary syndrome.